there, it's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. I hold in my hands the subject and the focus for this video. Of course, it is the Nuniver Iconoclast. This is a cabinet and speaker simulator in a pedal size format. Uh, you heard it on all the guitar tracks on that song at the beginning of the video. Uh, now, Nuniver went at the cabinet and speaker simulation thing in kind of an interesting way, I think. This is not an analog unit. It's actually a digital uh, but uh, it's not impulse responses. It's basically digital filters that you can apply to the guitar sound to simulate different types of guitar speakers, and different size cabinets, that sort of thing. And it sounds really cool. I use it on all the guitar parts on the track at the beginning of the video. I tried to use it in a few different ways because you can use this box in a number of applications. Uh, so I tried to sort of showcase that. Um, so one of the things about this, obviously it's sort of pedal size format, which is really cool. You can put it on a pedal board. For the solo in the song at the beginning of the video, I plugged a two notes Le Lead pedal, which is basically a guitar uh, amp simulator or preamp uh, simulator in a, in a pedal format. And I ran out of that into a delay, came out of that into this unit and added some cabinet sim obviously, and then went into my recording interface. So no amps were involved in that solo sound. I think that's really cool because conceivably if you did something like that on a pedal board, you could have like a, a pedal board based rig, no amplifier necessary. And that might work great for, you know, a lot of people that are doing fly dates or you don't want to carry an amp around, that kind of thing. Uh, so really, really cool. Uh, I also used it uh, with my Sur Reactive Load Box and Amps. So I came out of the amp into the Reactive Load, line out of the Reactive Load into this guy, added the cabinet sound, came out of this into my recording interface, and that was how I did all the other parts in the song at the beginning of the video. So really, really useful, and yeah, you can definitely utilize this in, in a bunch of different applications. Um, some of the controls on the pedal, very, very simple to use. Um, it's got a nine volt power here that you just plug in right there on the side. This is a headphone output right here, and this is the level control for the headphone out. So I'll say with the lead pedal, for instance, I could come out of that into this, you know, add some cab sim and then headphones and just practice anywhere, pretty cool. Uh, it's got a, a simple three band EQ. It's actually very, very powerful, but it's simple to use. Uh, there's lows, mids, and highs here. The low control basically um, allows you to control sort of the size of the speak virtual speaker cabinet. Uh, so turn way up high, it's got that sort of thump and knock of like 412 cabinets. And as you turn it down, it's more maybe like an open back 112 as you get all the way down. Uh, the mids control uh, controls mid-range frequencies for sure, but it also sort of simulates the power dampening uh, effect of, of different types of tube amps, the dampening. So as you, you turn that up and down, it's kind of varying the dampening on a, on a, on a tube amp. Uh, and then the highest control basically allows you to control, you know, where that steep roll off is. Every guitar speaker, uh, 12 inch guitar speakers, 10 inch guitar speakers, they've all got a roll off somewhere up above 5K and it rolls off pretty steep. Uh, so this allows you to control that. You can go, you know, all the way out to, well, I'm not exactly sure, but it sounds like, you know, 8, 9, 10K, something like that. And so as you turn it all the way up, it'll get pretty fizzy and pretty bright. Might be nice for some clean sounds though, if you want to have a real sparkly clean. Uh, and then you can roll this back and as you're down to about halfway, it's got kind of that, you know, sort of uh, color and curve of the classic guitar speakers when I think of green backs or V30s or something like that. It, it, it's definitely when it's down around halfway, it's got that kind of sound like a mic'd up uh, uh, 12 inch guitar speaker. And then you can get darker if you want from there and go down below halfway. Uh, the last control here is a gate. So it's nice to, uh, uh, you know, keep things quiet, keep things tight and you can just engage that, or as, if you turn it all the way down, then the gate's out of the circuit. Now, uh, last thing before we get to some sound examples here, there is a USB port on the side of this. You can plug this guy into your computer, you can download the uh, Iconoclast application from Nuniber for both Windows and Mac, and then you can get into some deeper editing features into this box. Totally not necessary, it sounds great right out of the box, you might never plug it into a computer if you get it, uh, but if you want to get into that deeper editing stuff, it's pretty cool. Just allows you to tailor the EQ further and really get into some deep editing there. Allows you to tailor the gate, things like the hold time of the gate and stuff like that. You can get in and affect that. And then one of the really, really cool things, and I'm going to actually show you this in the, uh, in the upcoming sound examples, you can actually turn on a uh, stereo simulator uh, that allows um, for some kind of a stereo enhancer is what it's called actually, excuse me. Uh, and it, it is actually making the guitar stereo, it's not simulating. Uh, and the stereo enhancer just gives you this really nice uh, spread to the guitar sound. So for the, the opening track, the first guitar part that comes in, I had the stereo enhancer on. I had two, uh, I was coming out of the two outputs of this guy and had 
had them hard panned, I had turned on the stereo enhancer in the uh, Iconoclast app, and it just gave it this really nice dimension. And it doesn't sound obviously like stereo, like chorus or anything like that. Um, it just just gave it a widening kind of effect. So imagine that you know if you're in a band using in ear monitors or that sort of thing really cool to be able to not have that pinpointed kind of mono guitar sound in your in-ears, I think. Um, and maybe you don't want to, you know, mess with a stereo rig or something, but you would like to just get a little bit of width and a little bit of dimension to your guitar tone. Well, it totally does that. So uh, you, you're going to hear that in just a second here. The, like I say, the first track in the song at the beginning of the video, first guitar part, had the uh, enhancer on. Then I went back after I tracked the song and I retracked that guitar part in mono with the enhancer off. And I'm going to directly A-B those for you, for you so you can hear exactly what that stereo enhancer does because I think it's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to solo some of those parts from the song at the beginning of the video outside of the mix here and give you some more sound examples. And let's get to that. So it's the Iconoclast uh, Cabinet and Speaker Simulator from Nunaber. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video on the Iconoclast cabinet and speaker emulator from Nunaber. This is a really cool company. They're always doing something different. I like that. I like it when people think outside of the box and come up with new stuff. You can check it out further at the website you see there on your screen. And hey, please hit subscribe if you haven't. Come back and see me for more of these guitar videos real soon. I am Pete Thorne. Over and out.